Good evening ladies and gentlemen. You join me on a very gloomy Tuesday afternoon for another install video. So today what we're doing, well what we're going to try and do now, I'm hoping I've got the tools upstairs. I've not even checked before I start doing this, but this is one of them last minute videos. I finished work today, this arrived, and I ju it's just one of them mods. Like the most frustrating thing about YouTube is say a part arrives, you have to wait till you've got some free time or a free day to install it. I hate doing that. I just want to get it on the car because I bought it for that reason, to put it on the car. Today, what we're doing is literally a last minute video. We've got a rear cross brace for the EP3. Now I'm gonna show you what it looks like because this is, this is pretty fresh. So the good thing about a cross brace is you actually don't have to take the back seats out. Now, my back seats are in because they don't weigh much and I thought it, the, the back seats were just more used to me in the car than they were out of it. The best thing about this is, like I said, you can keep the back seats in and I've been told by quite a few people that have actually got one of these cross braces that they're one of the best things you can do to this car. They absolutely change the feel of the car completely, obviously in the cornering, keeping everything really sturdy and I'm just really looking forward to getting this on the car. So I'm gonna give it a go. Now, the only thing we have to like modify is so what this does is this sits let me just get in my boot boys this sits on the bolts that attach the seat belts so somehow we've got to get these off now i'm debating just not bothering with the rear seat belts and i know that i'll obviously take the fact that i've got the rear seats in but the only other way to do this is cutting uh, this plastic. Now, I'm not, uh, I don't really want to cut the plastic and I'm gonna kind of just see what I can do, but this plastic's gotta come off and we'll just go from there. So yeah, it sits, the top bar sits up there and the bottom sits in the stock standard strut brace. So yeah. We're gonna give this a go. I've never done it before, never done anything like this before. I had one in my old car in the VXR, but that was just the bar that went across the back. This was the most simple thing ever. So I'm gonna try and start ripping some bits off and literally just see how it goes. I'm hoping I don't break anything, but we're just gonna send it. Little bit of progress, I've took the back part off now. I'm not sure whether I'm gonna actually end up drilling holes in these. I might just leave them out because end of the day, it's my boot. No one's really gonna look in my boot and I, I know I, I do like the stock look and keeping things on the interior. Kind of stopped looking, except like steering wheel and, and things that actually need to look nicer. But I'm just gonna have to deal with it because I want that in really bad. But yeah, we've took this off. I've unbolted the little clips from here. Now, I might be getting this completely wrong, but I'm gonna check for any more clips, but I'm assuming I can just give this a really big tug and it'll come off, I hope. I'm gonna check my little Honda group full of my boys. So it's actually going quite well. I'm, I think the only things that need to come out are these parcel shelves here. So they, that comes out and I think literally that is the only thing that actually needs to come out. The rest of the plastic can stay in. Now, I just want to give a shout out to my boys in the Honda group. Now, we've got we've got Sean Barrett in here, Boosted, we've got Adam Ival, and every, everything that I get stuck on, I just bang it in the chat and someone's always there to help. Boys, I'm going to link this video in the chat. I actually love you all. You're all fucking legends. Okay, so... Yeah, I'm gonna try my best to get this part out now. Now, I think the belt buckle's the only thing, the belt's the only thing holding it in. And then, once that's out, I think we can go ahead and start installing that. All right, so, pretty much. I'm, I'm just gonna explain it. This is the YouTube live. So, I started this, started recording, thinking, yeah, I, pretty, I think it's pretty straightforward. None of the black bits you actually need to touch. Shout out to Peck for pointing that out. You don't need to touch any of the black bits. It's actually these white bits that sit up here, these pillars. They need to come out, which reveal that bolt there, which is what you need to go in the top of there. 
so you don't have to touch the black bits i've just done that do you know i just want to see how they come on and off do you know what i mean i, I knew what i was doing the whole time but i was going to restart the video and pretend i know what i'm doing but i'm just going to be real with you all so we've took a load of shit off that we didn't need to take off when all you need to take off is the white bits well cream bits whatever you'd want to call them so yeah that reveals that bolt there so you unscrew that bolt i'm assuming and then put that in as you can tell this is a really last minute video and i don't have a clue what i'm doing but we'll get it done we'll get it done okay so you did actually need to take these parts out to reveal the part where you grab to pull the white clip out but I think once that's done, you take all the bolts out, take the stock strut brace, whatever you want to call it, out, and I think we're ready to put that in. I'm going to give it a go, and I'll, I'll just time lapse it, see see how I get along, and then tell you what I did after. Okay, so the bar's out, them screws are out. I think it's time to line up the cross brace. I think we're in. Screw it up and then put all the plastic bits on and then we're done. I think, I hope. So literally, that's the only panel that's going to be missing, and I couldn't care less. I'm really happy with that. That's such a good mod. It doesn't get in, really get in the way of the boot. Oh, oh, really happy. I didn't actually think it'd be this easy. I'm going to do the other side, and and then I'll wrap the video up. It's, I'm, I'm probably going to go on the drive and see if I can tell if there's any difference or anything like that but people do say that when you're going a lot faster than you should be that's when you that's when you properly see the difference so yeah you literally hardly have to modify the interior and if you wanted to the pillars that actually like the plastic bits that actually go here you could cut a hole in them and no one would ever know that this was actually like aftermarket because it just looked like it's meant to be here you know what i mean but yeah i'm gonna get the other side done i've got my logo there and we'll see what it looks like. So, it's 10 o'clock at night now, and it's absolutely pitch black outside, but we've got it in. I'm gonna pick the video up in the morning and show you all what it looks like, get some shots of it, etc. That, honestly, was the biggest bitch of my life. Now, now I know how to do it. It's quite simple, but, oh, so you, we, I had to, in the end, undo the shocks so obviously when you get these screws in because it's all got to be mega tight it's got to literally be as tight as it's got to literally kind of represent as like part of the car so this is like framework now so it's got to be so tight in there and to get it all lined up like i'd 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 get that one to grip then i'd put that one in then that one wouldn't grip then i'd have to unloosen that one then that would pop out and then that would, that would unloosen itself and then that one would pop out and you've just literally just got to keep fiddling with it messing around with it and you'll get there in the end finally got it in and i'll pick the video up tomorrow so it's the morning after and my car is absolutely caked in crap from the trees bird shit from the birds and it just it, it just looks a mess but here's what it looks like <laughs> So it looks amazing, but what I want to find out is does it actually change the feel of the way the car handles? So I'm going to take it out in a minute and give it a bit of a test run. Obviously set the camera up and we'll see what we think. But first things first, I'm going to install my subwoofer back in. I took the spare wheel out because let's be honest, it looks like a bloody digestive biscuit and I didn't want that in the car. I'd rather be stuck at the side of the road than use that. Took that out, so I've got to find somewhere to put that tidy a few of my tools away 
and then we'll go take it for a spin. All right, sorry about the quality. I've had to switch to my phone. Tried to mount my camera on my window and it just didn't work out too well. Okay, I'm gonna take it for a spin, find a nice country road and give it a little bit and see if there's an actual difference. Now, I'm, I'm hoping there is. I mean, there should be because there's a lot now holding the back structure in place and hopefully, I should have really tested it before I installed it, just so I could really see if there was a difference. I'm gonna have to sort this shaky camera out as well. Nice little 60 road. The way it looks in the rear view, you can actually see, you can still see out your back window, obviously. But oh, look how cool it looks. And the best thing, you can put the seats up as well. And it doesn't really take much space of the boot up. So it's literally like a perfect mod. Ah, oh, I love it. Okay, that'll do for now. I've got to go to work. I'm working until nine o'clock tonight. So I'm going to end this video here. Really, 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 really happy with the cross brace it actually makes a, a huge change in the way the car drives and also looks good as well so what more could you want plus you don't have to take the rear seats out and it doesn't take up hardly any boot space either so i think it's a very very good mod for the ep3 and yeah i'm going to go ahead and end the video there if you did enjoy please like comment and subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one peace